This is a public service announcement. Stop throwing out your potato peels. We've got much better things for you to do with them. Like turning them into fries, peel fries, or making little grilled cheese boats with them. Grilled cheese boats is a terrible name. The point is this. It's time for you to rethink all this stuff. All right, we're gonna start with the peels. Fantastic. Two seconds and you're eating something newly mind blowing. And then we're gonna show you what you do when you bake them and then you cut them and you scoop them and you deep fry them and you fill them and you broil them. The peels first. And as you can imagine, we need potatoes for this and a peeler and some water that's over here because here's the deal. If I was peeling them and putting them directly in oil, that might be okay, but let's say you don't want to do that. You don't want them going brown. So you want to peel them straight into water and then they can stay fine for a while. So watch, what size do you want them? Long like this? I like mine kind of long like this. So away you go. You want to make little short guys? Make little short guys, but I kind of favor long fries, long Peel fries, hey, you get in there. So as many as you wanna make, peel away, buddy. And when you're done, we move on. And there you go. All right, potatoes peeled, they're in here. And now I'm telling you, they could sit in here for a while, an hour, two hours, overnight, probably. I don't know, I've never done it that long. But when you're ready to use them and fry them, here's the move. Baking sheet, a couple layers of paper towels because they need to be dry because we do understand the concept of oil and water not mixing. We'll take them, I'm gonna give them a little shake over the sink to get out as much water as I can. I don't really want to break them, so I'm not going to squeeze them too hard. Like this, and now here's my move. Gentle, gentle, gentle. And when you think you've dried them nicely, hey you, get back in. Head over to the fryer. And with your oil hot and your skin's coming out of your paper towel deal, are they all out? Little shake, down we go. But you want to help them along. You hear the bubbling? The bubbling is water coming out. And that's okay. You got most of the water off in the paper towels, but it's an important step. And this is probably two and a half minutes, maybe, maybe two. Depends how many potato peels you've got in here, how hot your oil is, that kind of thing. But if they're poking their heads up, you want to help them back under. So let's take a look. It's been what, maybe a minute? Look at that. They're, they're close. They're not there. Give it 30, 45 more seconds. Maybe another minute. Which I had something longer. Which I own things that are longer, but stupid me. Well, they smell good. And let's not forget. We think, we're not sure because we're not scientists or nutritionists. We think most of the important part of a potato, nutrients and stuff like that, is in the skin. And if that's the case, these are actually healthy for you. So you should be eating these instead of regular french fries. But then you got to do something with the rest of the potato that you chop these off of. And we're talking about making potato soup with those. That's what we should have done. Shit. Next time guys. Let me just check crispness. They're gonna get a little crispier as they sit out, but we'll give them another, you know, 20, 30 seconds. I think all told we will have been in the oil between two and a half and three minutes. Okay, we're good. So take them out. This is important. You really want to drain them well. Let them sit for a second and we go like this. While they're still hot, shake off, throw them on here. And that's what you want to hear. And then we're going to give them two things. One will be some of this sweet hot rub that we've been using on all kinds of things. Pork, chicken. It's really great. We've made it here before. And I like a little color, of course. So just some of these chopped chives. In fact, they're going to show up again in this episode. And these, boys, we can plate. There they are. And employing Max's bean. Is this what we call this? The bean. We'll fill up the bean. The bean's pretty f cool. And one more. Et voila. And there you have it. Who wants to eat a hundred of them? Look at, look at the thinness. They're beautiful. They're all so delicate. Shit. Look. There's no limit to what you can sprinkle on them. The only thing I'm gonna tell you is that make sure there's a reasonable amount of salt in it because salt is gonna make whatever it is better. This rub that we make, there's a decent amount of salt. If you wanna do black pepper, make sure you got salt with it. Granulated garlic, Parmesan cheese, add some salt, it'll make it better. Please, I'm digging. But wait, don't go away because next, we're using slightly more potato, but then filling them up and doing some cool shit with them. These are four baked potatoes. No, they're not. They're three baked potatoes. I washed them. I dried them. I rubbed them with olive oil. I poked them with the tines of a fork a few times all the way around. And then I put them in a 400 degree oven for about an hour. And they've only been out 10 minutes, but they're still like little bombs of heat. 
hence the, the gloves. With the little cotton liner right there, protect my hands. My hands are my, my business. Here's what we're gonna do. We wanna take them and we're gonna cut them like this across and then once more, except this way and this way. We want four wedges out of each. And I probably don't have to do all of these. Maxie, how many would you like? Four? Sure. Or we do another one? Max wasn't paying attention. And when you've got them like this, now you're just gonna take a spoon and out this is gonna come. And what are you gonna do with this? Anybody? Save it. Anything you want. Mash this together with some crab and make little crab potato croquettes. Max doesn't like crab, so I wouldn't use that as an example for him, but all kinds of stuff. Mix them together with cheese. Fry them in a pan. They'll be delicious. But get out the majority of this stuff. The point is, don't throw away this inside because it's super valuable. So just get all four of these guys done carefully. You don't want to disrupt the outer shell. And when they're all done, we head over to the fryer. Yes, I said the fryer. These are going to be amazing. Come on, children, let's go. All right, the fryer's at about 375, and these guys will just sit in the basket very nicely. By the way, no deep fryer, no problem. Put them on a baking sheet under the broiler for a couple minutes to get them crispy. But these guys, we will drop slowly to watch the beautifulness, like that. They're gonna get two and a half minutes. You wanna separate them so they don't live on top of each other. They're not a pack of wolves. Wolves like each other, you know, they kind of sleep together. Would you watch a wolf documentary? National Geographic. We're separating, that's all. I think once they've been in about 30 seconds, you're probably okay. Oh, but look it. This is why you want to fry them if you can. Smoke them if you got them, fry them if you can. This is the reason to get a deep fryer. Shit like this. And when they look superb, out they come. We let them drip, cool a little bit. Boys go around to the front, we fill them up. By the way, they're pretty as a picture. I could actually just eat them just like that. Crispy on the outside, still a tiny bit soft in there. But wait, don't stop there. We're gonna do something fun. First, we're gonna put a little um, on them. I've got some soft butter. We're gonna add to that just a little hit of Dijon mustard, like that. Just the babiest little amount of garlic paste, like that. Some salt and pepper, our BFF blend, and this we will mix. Now, employing the back of the spoon technique, we're just gonna put a little bit all the way across. Look, they're still warm enough that it starts to melt in a bit. Oh, man. Once again, you could stop here and just eat them, but we're not doing that. Because in addition to this, we're gonna use one of Max's most hated foods, just because we can. And that will be black forest ham. Honestly, one of my favorites, I love it. If you're gonna get ham from the deli, the supermarket, I'm telling you, the black forest ham is the one to get. There's just so much more flavor in it, the smokiness, it's fantastic. So we're just gonna take some, put it right on top. Look, if I had to give these things a name, it would probably be something like a ham and cheese, I don't know, something. Black Forest ham and Vermont cheddar cheese potato thing, whatever that would be. Okay, let's do these two more, and then we hit it with the cheese. Okay, so in the interest of not being cheap, make sure you have kind of a decent amount on here in each one. All right, now it's cheese time. Vermont cheddar, big holes, little holes. I'm going little holes. Just grate up some. Just don't grate your fingers. And now we go like this. I'm a happy boy, kids. I'm a happy boy. We've had potato skins before, but have you had these before? No, you haven't. And the final one. These guys are going in my oven under the broiler about that far away from the glowing coils for Two minutes, three minutes until bubbly, beautiful. And then we're coming out. And at the end of a couple of short minutes, my God, my God, fathers, look at this. Then you should smell. And now, not green onion, not parsley, chives, cut really baby for a little onion bite. Nice. Oh my God. Let me tell you what to do. Make these, get them to the point where they're built. Keep them on the counter. Then when your guests come over, then you slam them in underneath the broiler, bring them out, chive them up and boom. Talk to me, son. Look at those. And nothing left to do but have one. Mmm. This is my friend. Oh, I feel the crisp already. The heat. Look how great. Oh, sure. You could do the traditional version of bacon and sour cream, but no, don't do that. Do this. Mmm. Black Forest ham. It's about as delicious a bite as you could ever want. You get the garlic and mustard, but you also get the benefit of what heat does to ham or turkey or things, this kind of meat that heats up. Oh my God, crispy, it's delightful. <laughs> it is delightful. And I can't eat too much because I'm going for a Korean barbecue in an hour, but damn. All right, today's been fun. I love this. I love the peel fries. I just love making food and eating it. And so do these boys and we love that you're here. Thanks for hanging out with us. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell tells you when we have new uh, videos. It's pretty clockworky.
Monday, Wednesday, Friday. A lot of quality content. See ya. You guys are gonna want.